I've been saving this pallet for something special and I'm gonna use it to close in one of the gable ends. The other gable end is gonna be mesh, but this one, I'm gonna slat it with this uh, pallet wood like siding. There it goes. I could mess around with measuring the, uh, I don't know, just a lot of measuring. But what I decided to do was I got this one cut right. This is a good uh, top for the very peak of the gable end. And then I come over to the saw here and I get my next piece that's going to be right below it. And I just kind of line it up, make a little mark there, and pop that sucker into the saw. See? And I got the next piece ready to go. I'm just gonna follow this process all the way down. Actually, I'm gonna go make sure that these two fit and then I'll follow that process all the way down. Yeah, that'll do. Don't build things the way I do. This is, this is not a tutorial. This is a, this is a horror show. Wrangler star rolling in his grave right now. I mean, <laughs> wherever Wrangler star is, not in his grave. Been fitting a couple of these on here. And it seems to be going pretty well. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and you know, test fit the rest, nail them in loosely so that I can get them back off, but screw it all up. I was just thinking that this is not building project as much as it is an art project. A building project is something that you kind of you follow a plan, you got reproducible results. An art project is something you do from the heart, one piece at a time until it's finished. And uh, <laughs> this is that. I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go along. One of the great things about where I'm positioned right now is uh, just to the left of your screen is Lolita the Elder's bed, and I think she's taking a nap. So, keep it down. Turn your speakers really low, okay? And I will gently tap these in. There are certain times working in this yard, in this garage, that things are just serendipitously perfect. Like, too perfect, you know, like, just bizarre perfect. This is one of those times. If you look, I'm meshing this side with hardware cloth, give it a little ventilation, and I got, I got just enough. Come on, hardware cloth, behave. You're on TV or YouTube, silly goose. If I cut this corner right here, the piece that's left over is gonna fit on there just right. That doesn't happen everywhere in the world. Just here in Lolita's garden. I had a whole roll of hardware cloth, but um, I used the rest of the roll for a like small trainer poulet run for the chickens. As they joined me out here today. Hey. They're over there enjoying the sunshine. Yeah, buddy, just dropping staples in here. Got these uh, three quarter inch galvanized staples. So these hardware staples give a real ghastly appearance to the outside of the coop. But I plan to go back over this with some trim once I've got everything else completed. Yeah, that looks like the cut I need. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Let's do two of those. Yeah. Oof. 
I said to God, Lord, I would like to be a craftsman. And I think the Lord misheard me and he made me a craftsman. Well, that's all for this edition of Building a Chicken Coop in Lolita's Garden. I'm your host, Ian Corey. Until next time, thanks for watching.